I'm all packed up. I uh, had to pack everything up wet. It just took way too long to dry things. It's about 10 o'clock now. Um, so yeah, I'm way late to getting on the road. Usually about eight or nine I'm on the road. Uh, yesterday was 11 o'clock, so I'm doing better by an hour. So maybe I'll make it into camp tonight at a reasonable hour. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Rig's doing all right, just warming it up. Um, I had a 20 litre water, which is all this here. I had to dump it because it was leaking. So I've got another 20 litre um, jerry that doesn't leak, so that's fine. I'll just have to make sure I fill up when I need to fill up. So um, yeah, other than that, all good. On my way to Colgra. So there's one thing I want to talk about while I just had a reminder there. Um, a lot of the roadkill in Australia. So generally when you're traveling the outback roads here, you're going to come across kangaroos and foxes, which were an introduced pest, and, uh, and rabbits and things like that. So um, it's normal to find uh, dead kangaroos and foxes and rabbits on the side of the road. But what surprised me yesterday and um, yeah, I'll give you some advice on this one too, is our wedge-tailed eagles. Now they have a huge wingspan. Um, and when they're on the road, it takes them a little bit to take flight. So if you do see one on the road, slow down and um, beep your horn. Give it time to get off the road and take flight. Otherwise you're gonna clean them up and they're an awesome bird. They're our biggest uh, eagle in Australia. And uh, yeah, I don't want to see too many more dead ones because I saw two yesterday on the side of the road, so which isn't cool. But that's something to think about anyway, guys. Um, when you're traveling in the outback Australia. All right, just hit Cooper Pedy, and here's the uh, big truck that everyone likes to take photos in front of. So it doesn't really help when you've got someone parked there, but is what it is. Uh, I'm not taking a photo myself, I've done it before. Maybe I'll do it on the way back. Um, I ought to come back this way anyway. Possibly, we'll see. Uh, I'm just gonna get some fuel and I'll push on to Colgara, which is another four hours 16. It's what, 12.30 now, so I'll make it in at a reasonable hour, which should be good. And uh, yeah, we'll keep going from there. So. Time to get some fuel and then uh, head on off. Bit of an update. I am two and a half hours out of Colgara. Um, 250Ks to go. And yeah, it's pretty boring drive. Not really much to report today. Um, I'm not too far out of Marla either, I believe, for about 80 or 70 k's out. So I'll stop there and have a little bit of a break for five minutes and then I'll head off again. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you when I hit the Northern Territory border. And um, yeah, cross over into the Northern Territory. Um, Weather's not bad, though I'm seeing some dark clouds now starting to come in. But nothing looks like it's raining at the moment, which is good. Um, so yeah, let's keep pushing on. Plenty of cars on the road, plenty of grey nomads. Um, yeah, lots of caravans and camper trailers. And I will say though, that the uh, most common vehicle brand out here is the Toyota Land Cruiser. I've seen maybe three patrols total, so it goes to show you which is the more reliable vehicle, um, for sure. So the Fink Desert Race is also on this weekend. I'm probably not going to go to that now. Uh, it's just too hard to get into and to try and find a spot. And you're locked in, I think, for four days or something, you can't move. Because the, uh, you'll be right next to the racetrack. That's what you need to kind of drive down. So onwards and upwards to continue on my mission to pick up something which you will find out when I have it. 
Alrighty, so I ended up staying in Colgrove last night at the uh, caravan park. I got too late to push on any further and try and find somewhere to camp. And I wasn't going to be driving through the night again like I did the night before, uh, just because of the risk of the roof strikes. So now I'm on my way to my final destination of the day, uh, which I'll tell you about when I get there. Got about three hours and 14 minutes to go around there. Um, so it's yeah, short drive today compared to uh, yesterday. It's what, 9.15? Got out at a reasonable hour. Um, I packed everything up in the car and then I went to get my keys and I didn't have my keys because I'd rolled them up in the swag. <laughs> so it was lucky for me that I could actually get to them with the swag still in the swag bag just by undoing a clip. So, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Um, decent night's sleep. Had a bunch of teenagers next to me carrying on for a little bit. Um, then I think they realised I was in bed and they quietened down, which was good. Um, but yeah, it's right by the highway, so you're dealing with road trains and stuff coming past. And, uh, waking you up. So I woke up probably about four or five times uh, during the night, but I slept all right. Still pretty tired though. Could have slept some more for sure. So um, yeah, I'll get back with you. I might stop in at Earl Dunder and uh, yeah, get some fuel if I need it. Probably should give it a top up. Probably be an exorbitant amount as it usually is, uh, out in remote Australia. What did I pay, $2.29 a litre, I think it was yesterday. So, I'm expecting this place to be between $2.50 and $3 a litre of fuel, of diesel. So, not cheap. Um, but yeah, now, you know, we're in the Northern Territory now, so the scenery starts to change. And I'll show you more of that when I, uh, come across it. Alrighty, so I did say that I would uh, jump back on and show you the change in scenery, so uh, there's some really cool stuff to see, so over this side, don't know if you're able to see it, wait till we go past here, so Mount Connor over there, which is really cool and and yeah I would have stopped at the lookout back there but there was just way too many people around and I've got a tour bus behind me heading out to where I'm heading to right now so um, yeah pretty boring drive We've got an hour to go and um, yeah, plenty of, plenty of vehicles ahead of me. Lots of caravans and the utes towing them. But yeah, this is pretty much the scenery now. So not a whole lot here to see at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'll report back uh, when we get into where I'm going. So I'll keep persisting. So yeah, an hour to go is not bad. Um, yeah, it's only a short day today, which is good. So, awesome. Back soon.